also doing something about the airport. Let's be honest, Kenyans. Let's be honest. Yani the airport we have in Nairobi is made of canvas. In the middle of a tarmac, that is the arrivals. I mean, this is a temporary structure we put up almost, I don't know, seven years ago. We, we don't, Ethiopia have a brand new airport. Uh, uh, Rwanda have a brand new airport. And it is the reason why we, we need to work with investors to give us a new airport in Nairobi. I have seen many people saying, William Ruto wants to sell the airport. Am I a madman? You know, how do you sell a strategic national asset? You have to be insane. You know? So we must have the right investment for the airport. The airport is a strategic government asset, national asset. What we want to do in the airport is to work under the PPP program. And, I, and people must understand PPP has the potential, public-private partnership has the potential to bring in private sector money, blend it with public, uh, public sector investment to be able to create an outcome that brings win-win. Let me tell the people of Kenya, for example, let me give you an example. We are all celebrating the Nairobi Expressway. It nowadays takes five minutes, 10 minutes from the airport to Serena, true? Do you know that that Nairobi Expressway was not built with the government money? It was built by the private sector under the private-public partnership arrangement, you know? And, 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 and that is the model that we are going to use to extend the superhighway from Nairobi to Nakuru, to Eldoret, to Malaba. That is what we are going to use to do many of our roads. That's what we want to do with our airport. We want to work with the private sector for them to do three things that are critical for our airport to build a new terminal, to build a new runway, and to make sure that we refurbish what we have and remove the canvas. You know, it's, it's a very shameful thing. The airport we built in 1970, I saw the plague there, I, uh, Jomo Kenyatta, uh, that, that so many, almost 50 years ago. Now, the, the capacity was 7 million uh, passengers. Last year, we had almost 9 million passengers. We've out, we are actually 10 years behind schedule in modernizing our airport. Other countries are ahead of us. I want to persuade us as Kenyans, let us not buy into fake news. Let us not buy into propaganda. There is no government that can sell a national asset, a strategic national asset like the airport. We are going to work in an open and transparent manner to make sure that we develop the airport using legal instruments that can be audited by parliament and by other agencies to make sure that they are value, they bring value to the people of Kenya. So the same thing that Hersi is saying to develop the infrastructure here. We do not have sufficient conferencing facilities. The uh, KICC we have in Nairobi was built through Arambe, imagine, by Kanu, those days. And then it was taken over by government. It is now 50 years old. We need a modern conferencing facility if Kenya is truly going to be a hub for tourism. We need one in Nairobi, we need one in Mombasa, and that's why uh, we are working with the Mombasa, uh, former Mombasa um, resort here to see how we can get investors to be able to develop new conferencing facilities.